Vladimir Putin's painting makes out as much sense as everything else he does. Francis O. Franco loved the quiet country life. Francis O. Franco loved the quiet country life. Hitler painted this not at all creepy or foreboding landscape. Hitler painted this not at all creepy or foreboding landscape. Delicate flowers brought to you by Francisco Franco. Artist facts, Franco came from a long line of naval officers, six generations of men in his family, ending with his father. His father expected him to follow in his footsteps, but since the Navy wasn't accepting any new recruits when he applied, Franco joined the Army instead. He ended up entering the Toledo Infantry Academy in 1907. Art cred. The delicate nature of these flowers is so contradictory to the murderous and violent man we know General Franco was. They almost seem to signify the women in his life, perhaps some type of symbolism referring to his wife, Carmen. There are no dates on this painting, so it could have been created during an earlier, more idealistic time. Weirdness score. This gets a score of 7 out of 10 strictly for the fact that it's so incongruous with who Franco was. Adolf Hitler's Portrait of the Evil Dictator as a Young Man Artist facts, after twice applying to and being rejected from the Academy of Fine Arts in Vienna, Hitler began working as a watercolorist. Eventually, he ran out of money and moved into a homeless shelter for several years. He applied to join the German army during World War I and was accepted, but one must wonder if that was out of sheer need for food and shelter, rather than a strong desire to serve Germany he was, after all, born in Austria. Art cred. This watercolor painting is believed to be Hitler's first self-portrait, painted in 1910 when he was just 21 years old, and an aspiring artist. His facial features are nondescript, meaning no Hitler mustache. But there's a big X over his head and his initials A. So historians are pretty positive it's supposed to be a painting of himself. Weirdness score, the eerie thing about this painting is the fact that it is so soft and delicate when we all know the monstrosities that the young man in the painting would soon commit. There is a quiet danger in the pondering nature of the figure sitting on top of the bridge. This gets an 8 out of 10 for irony. Francisco Franco's art was so cliché. Artists' facts. Francisco Franco started his military career as a lieutenant during the Rif War. Over the years, he rose through the ranks and became Spain's Generalissimo. He eventually became Caudillo of Spain and developed an autonomous political system, a military dictatorship, to be exact. It's estimated that between 200,000 and 400,000 people died under his regime. Art cred, it's no surprise that this painting depicts violence symbolized through animals. His grandson also named Francisco Franco states in his book, The Nature of Franco. When my grandfather was a person, he would regularly lock himself in his study after dinner to spend time painting. His paintings were not great works of art, but showed a quality and realism that is unattainable for most amateurs. Franco was also a hunter, so this depiction of hunting dogs attacking a bear seems appropriate. Most likely Franco saw himself as the bear, and the dogs are the people that he considered his opposition. Weirdness score, if you analyze the painting and connect it with the violence generated by Franco, then it becomes weird in that this fantasy world of bears and dogs was really an actualization of Franco's regime behaving as animals and treating humans as less powerful animals, making it an 8 out of 10. 
two-point deduction for being obvious. More Francisco Franco 576 of 753 people we wish were still alive 12 of 19 signature afflictions suffered by history's most famous despots 10 of 10 cartoons, erotica and other bizarre hobbies of history's most brutal leaders. This lovely, innocent, bashful portrait was painted by a monster Adolf Hitler. Artist facts, Hitler may be the most well-known, well-studied dictator of all time. Because of this, we know he was a sensitive artist in his youth. Many have wondered what the world would be today if little Adolf had put his grand efforts towards his art career rather than the annihilation of humanity. Art cred. This is a depiction of Bashful, one of the seven dwarves from the 1937 Disney animated film Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Hitler loved Snow White and even had his own copy, which he projected in his private movie room. It was William Hackbog, the director of a war memorial museum in Norway, who found the drawings of Bashful, Doc, Dopey and somehow even more strangely Pinocchio tucked away behind a different framed painting done by Hitler. He had the drawings tested, which revealed they originated between 1938 and 1940, and that led him to believe they were not a forgery. Still, despite the evidence, there's no conclusive proof that Hitler painted Disney characters. Weirdness score envisioning Adolf Hitler in a private movie theater watching Disney princesses qualifies this one as a 10 out of 10 for weirdness. More Adolf Hitler freaky coincidences that aided Hitler's rise to power 290 of 2443, the most influential people of all time 236 of 347 the most important leaders in world history. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and likes and comments down below and also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then. Take care. Bye.